This might look like a living room, but I'm actually standing inside the Big Shaker. It's an earthquake simulator, and it's meant to demonstrate what happens when a 6.8 magnitude earthquake hits. Okay, I can feel it starting now. You can see that there are items falling on top of me. This is actually the biggest risk, things falling on top of you. And really, an earthquake can hit at any time without warning. But soon, we will have a warning that'll come straight to your smartphone. Mexico has an earthquake early warning system. In 2017, sirens went off about 20 seconds before a 7.1 quake hit Mexico City. Japan has an earthquake early warning system too, with alerts over televisions, radios, and smartphones. Earthquake, earthquake. But here on the West Coast, the early warning system, Shake Alert, is just getting started. Bart in the Bay Area is using Shake Alert. We have LA Metro using Shake Alert to slow down trains. This is all, you know, stuff that's happening now, and that's why we really want to point out that Shake Alert is actually up and running now, at this moment. It's working. What remains to be done is the completion of the build-out of the stations themselves, the sensor networks. Eventually, the West Coast will have more than 1,600 earthquake sensors installed, like this one on top of San Diego's Mount Soledad. The sensor itself is actually underneath the ground. We have the cables coming underneath the ground here, and underneath this wellhead here, down about uh, three meters or so, there is a seismic sensor. The trick is making the network fast enough to alert people on their cell phones just seconds after an earthquake hits. How many times have you sent a text to someone nearby and waited for minutes for that text to get there? The technology needs to evolve to the point where we can actually push out these notifications in a timely manner that's effective. ShakeAlert recently tested the speed of its network in San Diego County by sending a test alert to the smartphones of more than 3 million people. They're still crunching the numbers to determine what worked and what didn't, but this system is almost ready. Here's how ShakeAlert works. When there's an earthquake, say here, along the San Andreas Fault near the Salton Sea, a seismic wave starts spreading from the epicenter of the quake. As it hits the network of earthquake sensors in the ground, within milliseconds, a warning is sent to one of three earthquake warning centers along the west coast. The earthquake waves are analyzed before a shake alert is sent to cell phones. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. So the more stations you have, you have better resolution. You have a, a way of detecting something quickly and getting that information out more quickly. There are two ways a shake alert can be sent to your phone, as a wireless emergency alert, similar to an Amber Alert, or through push notification to an app you have to download first, giving you maybe 10 to 20 seconds of advance notice. The closer you are to the epicenter, the less warning time you'll have. And shake alert warns more than just people. But also it could be sent to another computer to open a firehouse door or to protect a water system or a whole bunch of other applications that are being developed. We're not going to stop the earthquakes. They will occur, but we can make them buildings safer and we can make the people safer. So what should you do if you actually get a shake alert? You might have 10 seconds and what you're going to want to do is look around, drop, find a place to take cover and hold on. Do not try to run out of any building because you might not have time. Stay put and protect yourself, especially your head.